Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Rainbow Loom Totem Pole Bracelet just like the one here. This is a really cool design and I'm in love with it. So hopefully you will be too after this tutorial. So let's get started. Today I'm filming on the floor so my iPad's not as elevated as it usually is. So you're not going to be able to see the whole loom, but I'll move it down. So right now what I want you to have is I want you to have a rectangular configuration on your loom so just like this so all of the rows are lined up so go do that now. Now let's start placing our bands so we're going to go from this center peg to this left peg diagonally now we're going to take another band and we're going to go up you're going to continue going up the loom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the band there and bring it in like that. Now we're going to repeat the exact same thing to the right side. So we're going to take our border band, go from the center peg diagonally, and now we're going to go up the loom. The loom should now look like this. For the next step, you're going to be needing two other colors, or you can do what I did and do different colors for all the different poles, I guess is what you would call it. So let's start with placing those bands. You're going to go from this center peg to the peg right above it. Next, you're going to go from this left peg to the center peg and push it down. You're going to go from the right peg to the center peg. Now we're going to go from this peg right here diagonally up to there then take that band and go from there to there just like that pushing it down a little bit then we're going to take our black and go up like that. Then take a different color and go from there and go like that, pushing it down. And then we're going to go diagonal. diagonal again so this is what you should have so far and then we're going oh this band's bad then we're going to go up then again with the orange go in and then go in oops yeah, make sure you push down the bands so you can make room for every band. And yeah, so I'm going to show you the steps one more time. So I'm going to take my orange band and go inwards to that center peg. Same thing with the right. Then I'm going to place a black band going forward. And now we're going to start our new pole. So we're going to take our red and go horizontally just like that then we're going to go diagonally to the center then we're going to take a black peg I mean a black band and bring it forward and we're going to start again with a new pole you're going to continue just like this down the loom. If you need to re-see re um, the steps, just rewind a little bit so you can see the steps. And it is basically a really easy um, layout. So continue all the way up the loom. So now we're going to take our orange band or whatever color band you have that's not this red and go from there to there. This is just finishing placing the bands. And now we're going to take our black colored band and just go forward. We're not going to do our diagonals. 
and now we're also going to take an A-colored van and we're going to make a capping van. So you're just going to place the cap van on the last peg, just like that. So now your loom should look like this. I'll do slow motion. If you see something wrong in your loom, fast forward, I mean rewind, and watch a step over. So now you're going to turn your loom so the arrows are pointing towards you. And yes, I did just uplift the iPad a little bit because I couldn't get my arm under enough so that I can show you how to loop the bands. So yeah, so let's start looping the bands now. So to start us off, we're going to pull the cap band back and grab that top black band. Holding the cap band down, we're going to loop it forward. Now we're going to go back inside this cap band and grab that next top black band, lift it outwards and bring it to our left. Go back into the cap band, lift it outwards, and bring it to our right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside here. We're going to grab the top orange band here we see, take it off that peg, push these bands down a little bit, and bring it over to its left, push it down so that it stays secure. Go back over here and take the orange and bring it over to its right. Just like that. So now I'm going to show you how to loop the rest of the bands. This step is going to be repeated for the rest of the loom, well most of the loom. So later if you need to look back, just rewind because I'm only going to show you this step once because it's not necessary to show you all the way down the loom. Otherwise, this video will be like half an hour. Anyway, you're going to go into this band, pull all these bands back, and you see that black band down there? You're going to grab it, and you're going to loop it forward. Same thing over here, pulling everything back, and finding that black band down there, and looping it forward. Now we're going to come over here, and we're going to find that black band right there on top. Not the red band. I should really invest in a new hook. This one's kind of big. Yeah. So you're going to loop that one forward, and then you're going to come over here, grab that top red, Letting me, these like bands are like so greasy. I, I keep slipping. And you're gonna go diagonally, come back in here, and go diagonally again, just like that. Now we're gonna come in here, we're gonna grab the top red and move it over to the, push these down, move it over to the left. And grab the next top red and move it over to the right. Again, the steps will be repeated. So if you need to see it again, just fast forward a couple of minutes. And yeah, so enjoy looming the rest of your bracelet. Now that you've reached the end of your loom, we're just going to finish off the looping. So we're going to go in here. Grab that black band at the bottom, loop it in, and then go on the other side and grab that black band and loop it in. Go in here, grab that red band, and loop it forward. Get off my hook. Just like that. So now your loom should look like this. So now let's get to finishing the bracelet. So I'm going to stick my hook through all of these bands 
and I'm going to grab a black colored band and I'm going to place it on the hook and I'm going to pull that black band through all those other bands there and I'm going to bring the other half onto the hook and bring it up to the thickest part and now we get to tear off the bands so go ahead and tear off your bands so now you should have something that looks like this mine is not the best like some of the bands are sticking out but this is only my second totem pole so now we're going to make the extension so let's get started with that we're going to take our loom turn it back so the arrow is pointing away from us and you're going to take as many bands that you usually use to make your extension I usually use seven so I'm going to go up my left side you can probably notice that I go on different sides in each video like sometimes I'm on the left sometimes I'm on the right yeah so going up I'm going to take my bracelet and I'm going to place it on that last peg over there, turn the loom, give it a little tug, and just loop forward. Who cares that if the bands fall off because they're already looped. I'm going to have to lift this up because I can't get to it. So yeah, just loop all the bands forward. Just like a regular single stitch. Now we get to clip it. So I'm going to take a C clip and I'm going to clip the last peg first just because it's a little bit easier. Pull it off and bring it around. And I'm going to clip that black one over there. It's easier like this. gonna like bring it out a little bit I guess clipping always takes a while for me I just don't know why it's probably my nails probably my nails and there you have your totem pole bracelet so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see and I'll talk to you guys soon bye